Welcome everybody. My name is Michelle Tennant Nicholson and I'm the Chief Creative Officer of Wasabi Publicity and we are doing something groundbreaking today. <laughs> uh, I am pulling back my Wizard of Oz curtain so that you can actually see how a live public relations campaign is done. I've been doing PR now for over 30 years and I don't know any other publicist on the planet or in the history of time who has ever given this much view, transparent view into what actually happens behind the scenes. A lot of times it's like, you know, the spinning of stories is like this smoke screen or something that's really elusive that you can't put your finger on. What I want to say is uh, we're going to actually do this adventure together. And so one of the things that I'm most excited about is that we've got over a hundred people participating live. So in this first call, I'm going to set forth some foundational understandings with each other. We're going to do some breakouts. So you'll get to meet other people and you'll also get to meet the players who are going to be in this three uh, month series over time. In the future, you may be actually watching this as a recording. You might actually be participating with our book. So let me, the, the foundation piece of this whole program is actually the 21 day PR action guide. And if you see on the back, if you've actually got the hard copy book, that's Drew and me, and we wrote this, it's just a workbook, okay? It's a workbook of all of our secrets. Okay, so what we're going to be doing together is actually going through the workbook. This is your knowledge base. This is everything that you need to know to do a PR campaign. But sometimes knowledge doesn't impact actually what happens, right? So, uh, you know, we've really been coaching people for many years. And one of the things that we've uh, found through the years is that it's, it really takes a community. It takes partnership to really make your dreams come true and to have your voice be out in the world. So we've decided to do this very special program so you can actually see what happens behind the scenes. So are you ready? Yeah? So in the future, the in the recording, not everybody can see that there's about 150 people who have registered to go along on this roller coaster ride with us. And I'm actually nervous. So um, it's the, I don't get nervous often. You know, when I was six years old, I was the dairy princess and uh, for Jefferson County in Louisville, Kentucky, if any of you know uh, Louisville, Kentucky, okay? Uh, my parents wanted me just to meet other friends. They did, had no thought that I would ever win, but they didn't realize that they had a little actress on their hands, right? I was like little honey boo-boo um, in the 1970s, right? So I grabbed the microphone and I told everybody in the audience like what it was like to eat uh, chocolate and vanilla ice cream. This is a true story. I'm not making this up, okay? And so one of the, and of course, you know, was my first taste of a uh, public audience, right? So I really just dug in deep and that feeling of being in the public spotlight really took over. Now, I was the most plain looking child of all of them. And one of the things that, happened was the little girl next to me, uh, she started to get uh, stage fright and she started to cry terribly for her mother. So you can just imagine like five, six, seven year olds right on stage. Um, there's about 300 parents in the audience and I'm up there with maybe 20 kids, you know, 20 girls. And I, I still remember it to this day. I grabbed my arm around her and, I, and my parents were both nurses. So I said, mom, this girl needs help, stat. And I think that's what sealed the deal from my win and my crown that then had me go to all the 4-H uh, competitions around the county the, over the next year. So like that little girl and like I grabbed my arm around her and said, she needs help. That's what we are doing here together, okay? So a little bit about me. I told you about Wasabi Publicity. I also co-founded with Drew something called pitchrate.com. And so that's where you meet press. So not only do you get to learn what we're doing here, real time with a real live PR campaign, you can also do it yourself. So we're gonna give you get the tools to do that, okay? 
But before we get in there, I want to bring in something that I don't normally get to bring in is my master's degree in human development. Uh, one of the things that I did in my early 20s was write curriculum, and it was for children to develop their uh, their potential, their greatest capacity, as in, you know, as far as what their brain is concerned. So we were teaching early childhood educators how to develop potential in a young human being, and then eventually adulthood. So at the time, I was writing early childhood curriculum and developing programs for adult learners. And guess what you all have in common? Grocery lists, bank accounts, a never ending to, you know, never ending schedule that's super busy. So these are the things that we have to actually address in this course together right? Because you're not children, you're adults with really full lives. And some of you are really leading a, a national and international game for yourself. So this is the support for that. So I'm going to be uh, having your arm around you the whole time saying, okay, this is how we do it. I'm going to give you the knowledge on what you actually need. But the thing that makes the difference are community and tools. So in today's course, we're gonna be talking about the tools you need for success. So if you haven't already downloaded this free PR workbook, this action guide, please do so. And Hannah will help you get all of the materials that you need. The course is no charge. We're doing that on purpose right now, okay? Because we're recording it and we might charge in the future, but right now, this is the program for you. Okay, so get this now. Let's talk about my master's degree and how it comes into play here. One of the things um, I want, we're gonna do in the first breakout session. And if you're watching this in the future, then you can actually uh, use a notebook, okay? So you might not actually have the live interaction with others. You're a different type of learner than the person in the screen next to you that you can see if you're in gallery view. So are you a visual learner? Are you an uh, oral learner? So spatial, auditory, verbal, linguistic learner, a physical learner, kinesthetic. So let me just uh, get this into the chat right now, okay? So in past calls, I've used the chat as a way for you to introduce yourself to each other. And we're gonna do that uh, when we actually open up for questions. But right now it's still we're still sort of in lecture mode and my team is going to go through my introduction and maybe edit me and tweak me and all of that stuff okay so that's what's happening behind the scenes in the future but for right now i want you to consider what type of learner you are thank you andrea's already started so you can start to share what type of learner that you are you may not know here's how you'll know do you do audible so when you read a book do you put it on your phone and then go for a walk? Chances are you're an auditory learner. And then that's me, I'm one of those. Um, do you like to touch things? Like, you know, some people, oh, I don't, I need to have the book in my hands. I have to have the book in my hands, okay? You're kinesthetic. You probably need to touch things. Think about how you learned when you were a child. Um, I had a story one time when I was teaching fifth grade, um, a little boy, was always doodling, you know, the, and they always get in trouble for doodling. That was actually the type of learner that he was. And so I didn't make him wrong for that. I actually said, everybody open up your books, everybody, let's all doodle, let's all doodle. So, you know, so it was inclusive. We didn't actually have a label for him that made him wrong because today he's probably a graphic artist, okay? So what kind of learner are you? The other thing I wanna uh, deal with right now in our, our first breakout is, why are you here? You got a lot of things to do, okay? And we've got an hour together today. We're gonna have an hour together the next time when we actually talk about, uh, so we're gonna talk about the online press kits today and what you need to do to get press materials ready and your messaging ready and all of that stuff. Then you're actually gonna see me do it with somebody. We're gonna do it with Clayton and Clayton is here. So Clayton, this is when you unmute yourself and you get ready for a, Hi, how you doing? Okay, so unmute yourself and introduce yourself. Just give us a big shout out. Hey everyone, uh, glad everybody made the call. I'm Clayton and um, you're ready for a fun time and a, a great ride. 
Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, so Clayton is being very vulnerable as I am, right? We're taking a risk because we have no idea what's going to happen uh, as we take this ride together. Okay. So does everybody like lock in their seatbelt on the roller coaster? Because it's going to go like this. Okay. Um, I wasn't nervous as a dairy princess ever. Like they literally, my parents could have made a lot of money with me as Honey Boo Boo, but they didn't. They were two nurses and, you know, they didn't care. They still, my father's deceased. My mom still thinks, she thinks I'm some kind of teacher. She doesn't quite get what we do. Okay. It's hilarious. Um, but the thing that I really, I'm nervous because I don't know what's going to happen. What if we put it all out there and we get a zero for Clayton? <laughs> Clayton, I'm going to give you my heart. I'm going to give you my heart, okay? <laughs> I'm not saying that I expect that, but sometimes that happens with PR, okay? I did all the work and I didn't, because we're actually in a dance with other people, okay? So why are you risking and investing your time today? And so Hannah, who is uh, my assistant, she is going to break us into groups right now. And you are going to have about four minutes. So uh, please uh, share briefly, practice your sound biting so that everybody in the group can share and that you have a little bit of time to chit chat before we come back to the big group. Okay, Hannah, take us into breaks. How you learn and why you're here. Are we coming back from the breakout session? Um, just make sure that you have written down what type of learner that you are and why you're here. You're adults. You could be doing 101 different things with your life right now. <laughs> so we want to make sure that this makes a difference for you. Uh, that's my personal commitment. Just like that little girl that I wanted to save from her stage fright when I was six years old. That's my intention for you here. Okay. Um, I loved meeting um, my friends, my new friends in the small breakout session. I hope you did too. If you didn't um, get to say what you wanted to say, say it in the chat right now, because there's plenty of us who want to witness you, okay? Um, I also, uh, you've met Clayton, and I want you to also meet um, the person who's really responsible for inspiring my team and myself uh, for holding this very uh, groundbreaking series. And let's give a shout out to Stephanie Chandler. So Stephanie, if you wouldn't mind unmuting yourself and just introducing yourself and telling us uh, why you're here and why why this, Stephanie? Hey, all of my friendly faces out there. It's so great to see you all. Lucinda, Elizabeth, hi, everybody, Marjorie. Um, so I run the Nonfiction Authors Association and Writers Conference. And all of this came to be because you may not hear me talk about it much, but I'm still also a book publisher. And so uh, we are publishing Clayton's amazing a uh, book called Good Cop, Black Cop. And as soon as I met him, I just felt like this book ha is so timely. He is like a big teddy bear. I hope you don't mind me calling you that, Clayton. And I really want him to have as much success as possible. It's timely. We need this. And so I reached out to Michelle and Drew at Wasabi and said, any chance you guys would help us do something for publicity for Clayton's book. And we kind of got together and said, what if we did a big, you know, case study and brought other authors along on the journey? And so that's how it all came to be. I'm so grateful to Michelle and Drew and Hannah at Wasabi for putting this together and bringing all of you on board too, because it's, I've never walked through an entire publicity campaign in this fashion either. So we're all learning together. And uh, Clayton's gonna inspire all of you just as he's inspired me. He's just an amazing human being. And I'm just thrilled to, to see you all here. So thanks for joining us. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you for the inspiration. Um, you know, we've been, we've done calls before. I mean, before decades now I've been done, you know, first it was Bridgeline conference calls and then it was webinars. And then, you know, as the technology has evolved now we're all full color meet George Jetson, daughter Judy. So I, you know, love this type of intimate setting with you. So right now, one of the things that I really want you to write down and be committed to is why you're, uh, 
taking time out of your busy schedule for this, especially if you're watching a recording in the future. Now, to be part of the live series, you've actually applied. We, decide, we decided to do that by design. And that was because as a, even though we, uh, you know, we're not charging for this live series now, we may charge in the future. I don't know what the future holds, but right now, the people who are participating live with me, the only thing that you're investing is your time with me. So I want to make sure that you have structures for fulfillment. And so what I ask my small group is, given your learning style, what do you have in your structures for fulfillment? And they go, what do you mean by that? And I go, oh, those are my personal development days. Okay. And that's my human development master's degree speaking. So let me give you an example so that you can declare that for yourself as a foundation piece today. I need to read a lot of books because I'm a publicist. I have a very busy schedule. I'm also taking care of my 84 year old mother because I've been so inspired by Clayton. Uh, I've also taken on finishing my own memoir that I've put off since I was 20. I know all these writers, yay, I love, thank you, support me and you you can ask me how it's going, okay? While you guys are doing all this newly, I'm actually finding my own voice rather than just my client's voices, which I've been doing for 30 years. So thank you, Clayton. Um, but what structures for fulfillment do you have? For me, I like to go hiking and I like to be out in the woods. So it's important for me to have an audible uh, subscription <laughs> so that I can listen to my books. Now, I don't always, you know, get them via Audible. Sometimes I have to like sit in my cozy chair in my living room with the nice snuggly blanket. And then I walk, you know, I read my books, but I have all those other things that I need for a structure for fulfillment. I even put it in my calendar. So right now in your, in the chat, I want you to talk, I want you to declare with all of us here, how you're going to actually complete this program with us. How are you going to schedule based on your learning style, how to do the workbook? Okay. So maybe if you're, uh, you know, the type of kinesthetic learner and you have to, so rather than just getting it digitally, maybe you have to feel the book and actually work through the book. Maybe you have to print it off your printer. Maybe you have to get a buddy and you actually have to then schedule time to work on it together, okay? Uh, maybe you need to do um, the type of, uh, sometimes if I can't do the auditory learning, I actually just speak into an app and then hear my own voice and then I get it transcribed and then I can actually progress that way. But for me, it's usually in conversation with other people because that's how I do my best creative work, okay? So put that in there. Okay, now let's talk about the technology piece of what we're going to be doing next. So inside what we do, uh, I, let me talk about my business partner, Drew, just a bit. So Drew Gerber, I met him years ago when we were doing personal development courses together. He was actually my seminar leader, and I was that noisy kid in the classroom. I was in my you know 20s. He's a little older and I would always have my hand raised. You know that one in your in your classrooms, right? Like, I don't know if I agree with that or I don't understand or can you say more? That's always me. I always have the last word, okay? Not always a great quality inside somebody's uh, teaching environment, okay? But here's the thing is that what he bring to the what he brought to our partnership years later was technology. He had been doing dot-com work. He'd been uh, a chemical engineer. Um, this is his book. By the way, he's already finished his, right? Years ago, right? Destination AHA. The thing about Drew is he brought technology to PR when we first started in 2002. I didn't even know what he was cracking open. So let me show you what he cracked open for me. Uh, and it comes from the, uh, I was working with the Wall Street Journal. We had a client, it was the Grameen Foundation, and they had this huge donation. The Wall Street Journal said, we can cover that if you give me a photo today. Well, I was trying to email the photo. This was when we had FTP days, right? This is before Facebook, before what we have today. 
and he, and I just couldn't get it past their firewalls. And he he's like, we're in the office, and he goes, just use that program I set up for you. And I was like, what? He goes, I you've got a program where you can send the email, and then you just send a link, and she can get the photo that way. That way, you don't have to overnight a hard copy photo. Back in the day, in two thousand two, we were still FedExing. Uh, photos, high resolution photos overnight. And I just looked at what he had set up for me with his friends from his dot com days. And I was overjoyed. And I said, Oh, my gosh, this is a game changer. Okay. That's what we have in these press kits. So you might already have a website developer that has given you all the magic tools that you need to do a press kit. And if that's the case, good job. But one of the things that really irritates press more than anything is a PDF of a bunch of gobbledygook that they can't open and manipulate, change and, and interact with. They like also live and interactive. So let me show you what this is. And then I'm going to show you another fun. I'm going to tell you another fun story when I'm kayaking, right? So the other thing is, is we are humans that have big lives, right? You wouldn't have written a book you wouldn't want PR if you don't have uh, something to say that you're not leading a big life yourself. So searchpresskits.com, Hannah, if you wouldn't put that in the chat for everybody, please. Searchpresskits.com uses this technology, the online press kit 247 technology. So if you want examples of already made press kits, just go to searchpresskits.com. And there's tons of examples there for you that we've actually written. Okay, so let me uh, so let me see if I can share. Yes, I can. So this is what we're going to be doing for Clayton. So you can see here um, that I've got tons of press kits. And so when I'm interacting with the press, I will just send them a press kit link. Uh, Later on this afternoon, I'm actually meeting with Oprah Winfrey Network, and we're talking about um, a new show that they're doing, and I'm using this press kit link for that with my client, um, Ken Honda. So you can see here, there's an introductory page. This is for the press. It is not sales copy. This is journalistic copy, and we're going to talk about that. Then we've got three bios. We've got a media coverage page. We've got his images, suggested interview questions for the press, news and story ideas. This becomes later the articles or the segments that the press covers. And then how people can contact you, where they can contact you, how they should contact you, okay? Now, the thing about the press kit is when we look at the why of your press kit, which we discussed just now in our last breakout, your press kit should mirror the messaging of your why. So in Ken's case, he wants happy money and the aspect of happy money to be what they do in Japan and the abundance that he's afforded in his own life. He wants to give those secrets away to other people, okay? So when people come in and say, hey, do you want, you know, talk about the stock market, I can refer them to the press kit. It sets the stage Sets the tone of the conversation before your interview, okay? So there's one more piece, let me show you again. If I'm talking to a print journalist, I have something like a one pager. And this is something that um, the journalist can print off. Let me, um, let me download this for you. And then they can actually, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the links for those in uh, in here. So let's see, copy. So there's a sample press kit, a sample print one pager for everybody. And then we also provide a different type of one pager for broadcast, like radio, podcast, it's going to be in a spoken form. So you can see different examples of how we've presented that for the press, okay? Now, 
The difference is, is actually their cheat sheets, right, on the person's campaign. It might be a cheat sheet on your book. A publisher is going to use a one pager in a different format to really uh, get you into distribution and sales and things of that nature. What we're doing is, is we're starting a conversation. So we'll get more into the examples and so forth in next call when I'm actually walking through the creation of the press kit with Clayton. Back in the day, you know, 20 years ago, we wouldn't have had this digitally. We would have done this with a file folder and it would have been in hard copy form and all of these pieces to the press kit would be inside a, a folder and you'd mail it. Today, it looks like this and often many speakers, authors, experts, doctors, they forget the press component on their website. So if you feel like you need this type of tool and you want to actually, you're like, I definitely need a press kit. Hannah can help you with that. Hannah, put your, uh, your website, please, so that people know how to reach you. And so there are, so why press kits too? So here's, cause you're a, an adult with a busy life. Okay, maybe you have a playful life. Maybe it's not busy, maybe it's just playful. Maybe some of you wake up and say, I just want three hours to paint. We're not judging, good for you. <laughs> Good for you and your abundance, <laughs> okay? So there I was kayaking. Shh, don't tell anybody I was kayaking on a Wednesday at four o'clock in the afternoon, but there I was. And uh, the Wall Street Journal called. Yet again, the Wall Street Journal. Or was it the New York Times that day? One of them, right? Somebody that you need to stand up and listen to. I'm in my whitewater kayaking gear. I'm in, I'm on the side of a river, it's called the Pigeon River. It's actually really close to Dolly Parton's uh, estate, you know, Dollywood and all of that. If you don't know where I live, I'm actually in the Great Smoky Mountains. So I'm about two hours from Dolly. I love Dolly, I love me some Dolly. So there I am kayaking and they said, uh, we need the information right away. You pitched us the other day and we need the information. I didn't even tell them where I was, okay? I just answered the call and I said, no problem. Do you have a, a, an email or a phone number where I can text you? And they gave me a phone number and I texted them the link to the press kit. And that's all they needed. They had everything that they needed with a click of a button. That's how quickly you want. So it's a lot of like prep, 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 prep. And then we sit and wait, we've seeded, we'll seed the pitches boom and then they'll come to fruition and then they're going to want more information and then that's how you use your press kit link okay so that's what we're creating in this program is we're creating your messaging the materials that go along with the messaging and then we're sending that out to the the press most people that are in business today know what a press release is uh, so yeah, we need a press release and that's what a publicist does. Please tell my mother if you can communicate it effectively to a Bavarian 84 year old mother, okay? Cause she still can't quite get it. She calls me a press secretary or maybe some kind of educator. And I'm like, just never mind. <laughs> just never mind, <laughs> you know? So if you can figure out how to explain the difference uh, between a substitute school teacher and a publicist, I want you to have a conversation with my mama, okay? So, but come on, you know, we love them anyway, right? All right, so press kits. So the other thing that you wanna make sure is that you know who to pitch. So great, I got the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, and then later I'm talking to the Oprah Winfrey Network, but how do you get into communication with them? How do you find their information, especially those that are in demand when they hide their information? We're gonna go through that too. Also, for those of you who need help with media lists, Hannah can set you up with that. Yes, believe it or not, we're, uh, we have all kinds of resources for people. So just so you know, um, major PR firms will use particular services and apps and whatnot. They pay a lot of money. We pay a lot of money 
right, to have that kind of information. So you don't always have to have that type of robust system. You may not be pitching um, the Daily Mail in London. I am, you may not have to do that. You may just need the phone number and the head editor of the person in your city. That's the kind of stuff that we're gonna figure out. That's what's next. So once we get the materials, then who do you pitch? And then the name, the secret ingredient is consistency. So back in the day, when I first learned PR in Chicago, I was in theater school at DePaul University in Chicago. And I uh, worked for a woman who used to be a radio producer at WGN. Now, if you know what WGN is, we will not share our age with anybody else. If you're like, huh, what's WGN? Then good for you. You're fresh and you have your whole life ahead of you, okay? WGN is a TV station, radio station. It's a, it's a media venue in Chicago, okay? They used to have something called the Superstation. And that's a little outdated now. She taught me how to, at the, back in the day, she worked from her home. Like we didn't go into an office. I went to her condo and she did her pitching from her dining room table and a phone. And in her bedroom was a fax where she had me broadcast faxing these press releases and these cover letters and these pitches. And in her closet in the hallway was this massive copying machine, <laughs> like one that you would see at a major corporation, but in this woman's condo. Shout out to Andrea, okay? So she taught me how to do PR. Uh, we were expanding franchise markets. So she would get um, a franchise magazine. She would call for clients. She'd get them as a client. And then she would call the cities where they wanted to go, where they wanted to open up markets. And then I'd get, she'd get on the phone and she'd pitch the daily newspaper there. And then she, I would come in after my theater school classes and I would write, well, I would type her letter. And at the time it was a rather typewriter that held two letters. Remember those before computers? And then I would print them out and I would mail them. And to get one placement, it would take her three months. Three months. That doesn't happen today. It's a pitch and a placement. We have a what used to be a you know months long cycle is now a 24 hour cycle. It still exists though with some magazines and with some local press, right? They're still, hey, I got a story. I'm going to research it. I'm going to interview my authors, my experts, my people, you, and then I'm going to write or my story or publicize my story or do my interview. So. We're going to take three months and you're going to have time to do your homework and you're going to have time to really think about what you're doing, but it's a get ready and then we're going to pitch and then it starts to happen. Okay, so that's what's going to happen over the next few months. Um, the, by the way, this call is really about the online press kit. We're going to open up for questions in just a few minutes. Next week's call is going to be with Clayton. And so I've got Clayton's uh, answers to my questions that mirror the questions that are in this book. And so next time you're going to see me interacting with Clayton about what's going into that press kit. So I urge you to get yourself ready too. So start to look at the first section, the first few days, the first seven days of the PR action guide right? Week one is all about creating your press kit, right? Now, Clayton, I'm going to, you can look ahead if you're, you know, the eager beaver A student and you want to see what we're doing, but I'm going to walk you through that, okay? Yeah, oh, there you go. He's all right. He's got his stuff printed out and he's raring to go. I, I urge you to bring that sense of urgency to your life. This is really about you and your voice with the press, okay? Yes, Alvin just said Chicago Superstation is similar to Atlanta's TBS Superstation. Exactly. So the next part of the series is going to be the actual media dance, pitching, getting in relationship. Who do you actually call? 
What do you say when you're on the phone? How does it differ between a radio person and a TV person and a print person? That's the media dance. We're going to be doing that next time, right? Not next week, but next month. Then the last month, what we're going to really be dealing with is leveraging your media success. How do you actually do an interview? There's an art to being interviewed. How do you get them talking points? Um, how do you actually, like, if you've got a book, how do you get them, if they're doing one topic, but your book is another topic, how does that work together? That's what we're going to be doing at the end, okay? So right now, while you've got that vision in mind for the end and why you're here, right now is about your materials. So what do you say about yourself and the press kit materials? So I'm going to open it up for questions, and I may say, mm, we're going to deal with that another time but I would like to hear um, some questions about the press kit and how to get ready for next week. Who wants to share? This is the big room. All right, Molly wants to share, Molly. Hi, hi, thanks. This is great. Oh, good. I, I am typing like 120 words a minute just trying to keep up with you. Uh, are, is there a replay or will there be a replay? Yes. Okay, and where do we buy? I actually, I have printed out your, your all that great information. I want the book. I'm tactile. Yeah, okay. Hannah Where's will put a link in the, in the, she will put a link in the chat room for you, Molly. Okay. And uh, I hear you. Like, you know, the thing about, I love workbooks. That's why when we, we sat down to do it, I said to Drew, I said, I think what would make the biggest difference for people is to have a workbook. So if you want to purchase the workbook and you want that instead of like a thousand papers, it is bound and you can get it. And so you're, you're welcome to purchase that as well. We just Thank wanted you. to make I the content. I come from the available. publishing industry and, and we love books. Yeah, we do. You no, know, the smell, <laughs> but yeah. they're also very functional, especially now because this is such great information. And from what I've read of my printed out pages, um, you guys have put a lot of time and effort into this, I think it's organized because I'm a bitch when it comes to organizing. Yeah. It isn't right, like I can't just jump right on my clients, but it's, I didn't find anything in there that I found jarring, but lots oh, of fine stuff. This is the commercial folks, get out there and buy the book. <laughs> yes, can we quote you, Molly? I think Hannah's already making a note to quote you, right? And Absolutely. by the way, if someone gives you a glowing review like that on a phone conversation or just in casual conversation, it is fine to say, Molly, can we quote you? Sure. All the quotes that you see around me, that is how they happened, right? There's one about me being a five-star publicist and that Mabel Chan from Good Morning America said that about me. Guess what? It happened when I turned around a request of hers and she was on the phone and she says, my goodness you are a five-star publicist. And I said, and by the way, I used to get no's from all the top, like all the top press always say no, right? But I still asked. And I said, oh, Mabel, thank you so much. It's been my pleasure to serve you. May I quote you saying that? And she stopped and she was like, what, you being a five-star publicist? And I said, yeah. She goes, sure, I don't care. <laughs> you know, so I got off the phone and I was like, Woo! that's part of leveraging, right? But that's that's, that's for the future. Help Thank you, Molly. Other. You know, that's how we all help each other is listen for things that you need to say back to the person you're working with. Like in this group, say, boy, I really heard that. Yes. Because you're going to hear things because we don't all know each other that you didn't know before. And uh, I'm, I'm just so stoked to be part of this group. Thank you for doing Molly it. Molly has her seatbelt clipped in. Now do you have it in your scheduler? So make sure you get that in your scheduler. You got the time set aside, but not only the time for us to be together, you know, today in the live calls, but also for you to do the work. You know, when I did my master's degree, they always said uh, part of it was online. This was before we even did online stuff. It was with Pacific Oaks College. And I don't even know if they do the online stuff anymore. They're one of the leading organizations in early childhood education. They're the ones, one of the academic organizations that sets the stage for the National Association for the Education of Young Children and the National Head Start Association. So 
they were trying to do some exploratory stuff for adults. And one of the things that, you know, and, and I really struggled way back then because I, you know, I wanted to go into a classroom and they actually had some of the classes, some of the coursework in classroom and some of it at your house where you had to log into a computer and do it via computer. Ugh, I was, I was so depressed that I couldn't be around other people. Of course, I've come a long way since. And, you know, goodness, because now most of our business is done via a video chat, right? But that's what they said is so important is that you put in, like, if you were going to be in a classroom on Tuesday night, you've got to put that, you got to schedule it in your calendar so mm -hmm. that you have that time away from making dinner, washing your clothes, getting your groceries, paying the bills, fixing <laughs> the car. What else do we have to do today, right? Um... <laughs> right? Get our exercise in, right? Take our supplements, like get the <laughs> drink our water. I mean, all the other should, should, shoulds, right? So right now, put in your calendar. I will tell you what I have in my calendar. I have these calls. I have also have a Wednesday morning call with my team about you. I also told you I was writing my own memoir. So I have specific times that are set with my own coach, right? So just put that right now. So what other, so commit to us right now. Okay. Put that in the, uh, in the chat room. Okay. Now who else has a question? Katie. So Katie is another publicist like me and I love seeing like-minded people. Katie. Yeah. I want to hear your question, sweeties. Yeah. Marketing. All right. So if, um, we don't use your service the online press kit 24 or yeah, 24 seven, yes. um, but we want to do something similar on say our own website or our company website. Um, do you recommend, um, that it's so like you'd have a, a bio, uh, you know, about me, you know, all those kinds of section services, whatever do you, what would you call that? Like press? Yes. Um, okay. Yes. So definitely use if you're if you're managing this type of information on a website yeah. that maybe you manage because you're you probably do websites for people too, right? I, so what the first thing to ask is, does the website? So when everybody, this is your set. Okay. This I'm just doing this off the cuff. Go to your website, whatever yeah. website's in question. Ask this question. If I'm a radio producer, where will I go? Okay. If I'm a TV producer, what, what's there for me to see? Okay. If I'm a print journalist, where can I get high resolution photos? Okay. So these, so these are the, so make it simple and make it print and broadcast but distinguish between radio and TV because one is visual and one is auditory, right? Yeah. So yeah. we've got to look to see like as, as content's being distributed today and who you are as a go-to media expert is somebody who helps them with their content. Okay. So if you're trying to get your book mentioned, that's their gift back to you. Like, thanks for being on our show for free. And I'm going to mention your book. That's sort of like the unwritten rule, right? Yep. Yeah. But Katie, if you're developing that, then if, and you don't have a bio for a radio producer, they're going to write it themselves. And then you're right. going to be like, crud, I just don't like what they said about me. If you okay. feed them something that shortens the sync, they'll probably right. use it. Okay. Yep. NPR won't. <laughs> Look, you know how it is, right? Yeah. So the more credible, the, right. the they're, they're going to do their own thing, but you yeah. can always, especially as a marketing professional, information officer, yeah. publicist, press secretary, or substitute teacher, like my mother <laughs> thinks you are. Okay. That right. is the thing you got to answer, like put your hat on like them and see what they see. Yeah. Well, and, and, and just for everyone else, um, so I've even found, especially with when I'm working with local press, I was helping out our local soccer club and I would do a press release and the majority of the article would be just what I had written in the press release. Um, and so therefore that benefits us because it gets to come out the way we want it to come out versus, you know, the New York Times or a big, you know, publication, maybe they'll use quotes, but they're going to write it again themselves. 
So you don't have as much control of it, but journalists just don't have the time these days because they're just working on so many different stories in such a short um, window that a lot of times if you provide it for them, they will use what you provide them. That's right. And that's why you want short, succinct, here's right. like, you know, okay. because they're super busy. You think you're busy. They get yeah. thousands of emails. So if they have like your, the point of why you're, you've got to act, what we're actually doing is learning how to tell our stories in one sentence. Okay. And that's what we want to make sure that we have links that go back to the bigger story. Okay. Now I'm really showing my age because what was our guy that, you know, and here's the rest of the story. <laughs> if you're, if, literally, if you're like under the age of 30 right now, you're like, what is she talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay. All the generations can be titillated by this conversation, young or senior, golden. So um, let's talk a little bit about what you have at, uh, in front of you right now. So Katie, did, uh, thank you so much. If there's other questions, you can raise your digital hand. Uh, Margaret has a question, or you can literally raise your regular hand. Okay, I got a, I got a few pages I got to check through though. So get our attention, uh, Margaret. Margit. Margaret runs a Target. Mar perfect. Okay. Uh, I, I had initially thought of having a buddy for accountability, but I think it would be even more helpful for perspective. Um, as an author, I'm so involved in my book, but I don't know that I'm the best one to come up with what the, the real talking points are as they are likely to be perceived by media. Okay, perfect. Um, and We're gonna and I it. think that that's such a good type of outside perspective that a buddy might be able to provide their, their take on what the talking points are for your book, which may be different from your take of what the talking points are. So I'm definitely looking for someone who would like to Perfect, take that journey Margaret. with That's a, Margaret, Ryan's a target. By the way, in, in your materials, if you've got a name that you want to make sure people know how to pronounce, or like you're a Pamela and you don't want to be called Pam, you have to do say as, right? Just say as, blah, blah. Um, stay after. We're going to stop in uh, at the top of the hour. And if you're wanting a buddy, then you can, we're going to hook you up at the end of the call. Got it. And um, by the way, uh, if you're reading this or watching this or whatever reiteration of this content in the future and you need a buddy, your buddy is Hannah. Hannah at wasabipublicity.com. She's not going anywhere. Um, she will help you. As long as we're generating this content in the future, she, we've designated her as your partner, okay? Um, so for those of you who are like too shy to buddy up with somebody in this course after the call is over, She's also fine for right now, okay? Uh, she's a safe person to ask your silly questions to, okay? We all need that. Uh, Moto Z. That, hey, my phone is Moto Z. My phone raised its hand. Moto Z, unmute yourself and tell us who you are and what text I'm missing while I'm in this call, please. <laughs> all right, Moto Z. Maybe it was an accident. Hi there. Hi, I, I had to go, uh, this is Mary Burnett Brown. I My name didn't come up because I had to go to my phone, my computer. Oh, hi, Mary, yeah, yeah. Hi, Mary. Hi there, hi, Michelle. Thanks for having the course. I'm glad I'm here. Um, yeah, it's snowing here in Colorado up in the mountains, so my internet's not well. So anyway, my question is, um, what do you have a template to make the press, one sheet press release? Um, I have Canvia where I can do like, I already have a logo and stuff. What would you recommend? I would recommend the 21 day PR action guide. Let's go to the resources at the perfect segue, Mary, almost like I planned her question. Okay. So part of what you all have is uh, a few resources. Let me share my screen. So as you applied, you saw this right is the foundation. Like, do you even want to apply? That was what this page was about. So what is the course about? We're going to be talking with Clayton how it works, who I am, the commitment of the call, right? So then we got the details down and so forth. Once you applied, then you got a second uh, page, okay? That was your access page. So this is where you download the PR action guide and we can actually take you through 
the specifics of the press kit in this uh, action guide. So this is the knowledge, okay? But it's not gonna be the community. And like our last question, it does take both. Then the step two is actually participating in the calls. So that's where you're gonna have your ahas. That's where you're gonna have those uh, new thoughts and feedback from others. And it really, creativity is best in community. Then this is your call info. And then these are the, uh, what we're doing in the first month, the second month, the third. I should also say the first part, second and third, because in the future, it might not be months for people. They might just work on this at their own uh, pace. Uh, let's just say that if it's successful and Clayton, we're intending it to be successful, then we might share this with other people beyond the live format, we might do a recording. Not quite sure, but we're keeping that open because I'm hoping for this to be a really beautiful ride together. So that's really, you wanna look at pages one through 54, Mary, okay? And then that'll give you your actual templates and it'll help you work through what you need to do in Canva, okay? Canva, you guys, is a, a graphics thing. We're working on the words first before we do the images. So those of you who are creatives in the visual sense, fine if you can do like my little guy in fifth grade who was just doodling. Doodle while we're talking. And that's your, your visual outlet. But when you get, let's get your words down because the press works mostly in words. Your press release is going to be in words. Your media materials will be in words. Okay. Now, any other questions before we complete? Okay, so then let's go ahead and for those of you who want to stay after and buddy up, just stay on the call. We're going to officially end the call. Remember, next time we're actually going to be doing a real live, like what we do is our client intake call, and we're going to be taking Clayton through the process of creating his press kit. And what I do is I ask specific questions. I get him to uh, message himself in a particular way. And then I pass it over to our writers and then our writers who are working journalists, both as uh, in magazine and newspaper, radio and TV, then they actually create the actual press kit. And then we'll be uh, sharing that as well. If you'd like to uh, uh, check out my blog entries along the way, you can go to uh, our, the Wasabi Publicity blog. A shortcut is storytellertothemedia.com storyteller to the media.com because I believe that I'm a storyteller. So it by and large, you know, just like when I was six years old and I was telling the story of vanilla ice cream and chocolate ice cream, that's what really lights us up as human beings is the stories that we consume consume us. And the stories that you tell about yourself is what people consume about you. And that's what we're creating together is what story are you going to tell so that people find you irresistible? Thanks for being with me today and I will see you next time.